Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show. My name is Meerkat, and today is Monday, September 14th, 2015. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about the Shaman Midrange Totem deck. This is a deck that I found from Hearthbone.com. Go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to take a look at the deck list, and we're going to go ahead and hop straight into a match. In this particular game, I'm playing against a Hunter, and for the Mulligan, I get a Lightning Storm, a Bloodlust, and a Haunted Creeper. Haunted Creeper, you pretty much want a Mulligan every single time. If you have it, keep it. If you don't have it, try to get it if you've got other cards that are worth tossing back. I hold on to the Lightning Storm because I am playing against a Hunter, and I'm worried that he could drop down a lot of dudes and overwhelm the board and kill me before I get the chance to do that to him. Bloodlust, I obviously hold on to so that I can drop it down turn 5, 6, or 7 when I've got enough minions on the board to overwhelm my opponent, which is actually how I end up winning the game. Uh, turn 1, I got nothing. Turn 2, I do drop down the Haunted Creeper, get rid of the Web Spinner, drop down the Zombie Chow, and drop down a Totem. Now, um, in this particular type of deck, you want to get as many Totems as you can because you do have a card that will inspire your Totems to do plus 2 attack. Um, and you kind of want to make smart trades. It's not necessarily all about board control or all about face. It's just you got to make smart choices in this particular match or in this particular type of deck and know when you need to trade and know when you need to hit in the face. Um, I do drop down the Tuscar and I get a little bit of lag here and he pops out the totem. Now keep in mind, I did drop him in the middle. Here's a little replay for you. I dropped down the Tuscar in the middle in case I do get the Flame Tongue totem. If I would have dropped him on the right, I wouldn't have benefit any of the extra damage on the right side of the Flame Tongue totem. But alas, I did not get it, which is okay. I go ahead and buff up my Haunted Creeper, ensuring that I get two more minions, getting rid of his minion, and I've got total board control, getting really, really close to wanting to drop down the Bloodlust here in the next couple of turns. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is we are playing against the Hunter, and when he got a lot of stuff on the board, he could drop down and unleash the Hounds. Fortunately, uh, I just ignore that, and it works out for me. I drop down the Flame Tongue Totem in the center there. I'm going to replay that for you guys. Keep in mind that when you have a Flame Tongue Totem, always play it in the center of active minions. You don't want to play it all the way to the left or all the way to the right of certain minions. And make sure you pick the right minions you want it to uh, affect, because if you, do, if you do decide to trade out minions with his minions uh, for some good quality trades, um, whenever your minion dies, you'll still get the next minion in line to do the extra damage. I always forget that half the time myself. He gets rid of the Flame Tongue Totem, but not a big deal, because next turn, I am within lethal with that Bloodlust, so I go ahead and do the GG well played, drop down Bloodlust, and secure the win for the game. And that's going to be it for this video, folks. Hope you did enjoy it. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you did. And uh, I'm going to be creating some more content here in the weeks to come. Until next time, my name is Meerkat.